the heck is Kang the Conqueror? Let's find out. Kang the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror is basically, he's one of Marvel's big supervillains. He's mainly been the opponent, really, of the Avengers and the Fantastic Four, which is probably may get a few comic book readers by surprise that he's in Ant-Man. So in the comics, Kang discovers the, the time-traveling, basically, um, equipment that was created by Victor Von Du, which is how um, he's able to time travel. Another part from the storyline from the comics is actually one part that, you know, Kang is convinced that Doctor Doom is actually an ancestor of his. So Kang has no superhuman abilities, as, you know, you could probably guess, but he is an extraordinary genius and ex expertise historic scholar. So he literally knows everything there is to know about history. The technology that he possesses is around the 40th century technology. So it's way more advanced than any other, you know, people from time that he's gonna come across. So that's why he's always, always one step ahead. The armor that he wears basically irradiates radioactivity from it so ba radiation from it sorry so basically when he goes up against most people they're going to be from a time where their species is vulnerable is vulnerable to radioactivity and in the time that kang is from humans are no longer vulnerable to radioactivity so when he pumps her out of his suit it was gonna it will damage them but it's not gonna harm him at all now there are loads of different versions of kang the conqueror here's just a few immortus Immortus is an alternative version of Kang who basically revise, resides in limbo, basically. He's literally Immortus in the Avengers Forever storyline, if you've ever read that. At one point, he was even Iron Lad. He's a young version of Kang, but he was Iron Lad in that. He's also an Egyptian king as well called Ramatut. And where has Kang appeared? So the first time I saw Kang before I had read up in the comic books was on um, Avengers cartoon, Earth's Mightiest Hero. So basically, he came back to the 20th century or 21st century and basically he was hunting captain america and he was claiming that captain america destroyed the world so he wanted to kill captain america the avengers wanted to protect him then they found out that he's just full of shit basically and he just wants to destroy the world and conquer every single era there is um, another thing you might want to know about him that is kind of funny is there's one storyline called the Celestial Madonna where he actually wants to marry Mantis because apparently it's been said that Mantis is going to give birth to a powerful child and he obviously wants that to be his child. So he literally just shows up there at the Avengers man mansion trying to take her and shit. And the, the thick of it basically is Kang is basically a time traveling warlord that basically just wants to conquer every single time. That's basically who he is. He falls in love quite a few times um usually the women don't like love him the same way uh there's been a few um women that he's been really interested in like ravona she's one of them a princess and um avengers step in the way there as well but as you can see kang is gonna be a problem and i'm convinced that he's probably gonna do his time traveling through the quantum realm so that's how he's gonna be a time traveler so the problem is the probably is he'll probably be in the quantum realm as we speak and that's how he's gonna do his time traveling unless they're gonna explain it in a different way and then and, you know because dr doom has got to appear at some point so i think there's going to be a connection between dr doom and kang in the mcu as it was in the comics so we shall see i thought you if you enjoyed this video please click on that like button and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thank you for tuning in and enjoy your day